Hey folks, welcome to Board Game Corner. Today, we're doing something new. So, I'm sure you're wondering, the question must be asked, Board Game Corner, Arcade Cabinet, yeah. So, most of my YouTube content is board game related, modern board games, and most of it lives on the Dice Tower. You should definitely check it out. Amazing folks over there, tons of great reviewers, tons of great contributors, and hosts all kinds of shows to check out. But I am so blown away by Arcade that I am going to be doing a whole series of videos around it and doing it all here on Board Game Corner's channel. So this is my personal channel and I'm also going to be doing things like some VR and also some Legos because it's something else I really enjoy. But the thing about this cabinet is that it is a modern absolutely a modern arcade cabinet and even if it was just a single game dragon's lair i probably still would have jumped in even though i have multiple versions of it on the switch on the computer and even a mini version of the arcade cabinet all kinds of fantastic ways for me to play this game but this is the first one that makes me feel like i'm back in the arcade now i just want to talk a little bit about the build quality of this machine I am super impressed. And if you want to see the machine assembled start to finish, tons of great videos out there already. I'll show you some imagery here, but the thing is, is that I'm not going to do a deep dive. You just, there's tons of great videos already for that. But I do want to reiterate what everyone else has said. Just the fact that it's this super high end quality build. Everything fits together super snug and the wood, the cabinet, everything feels like a high end piece of furniture along with obviously the joysticks and buttons and I upgraded to the glass for the machine giving everything about it that high-end piece of furniture like I said now also it definitely makes it feel like that next level arcade machine or really that next level modern arcade machine because this machine can hold multitude of games and maybe not things like Pac-Man at least not yet but a lot of retro gaming here but also some brand new modern games can be played if you don't know already. Now, like I said, you can put multitude of games in here. I actually have purchased several already and I actually like this menu. I've heard a lot of people say they think this can be improved. Sure, UI can always stand improvements, but I like how the games are ghosted behind and as you move through the lists and so forth on the machine. And they also have the categorization for all the different games, which is nice to find. But I generally am using all because I'm like, I don't know, let's play a little bit of this and let's play a little of this. Actually, Rancox guys, we're going to do a review there because that is a fantastic game. Also, moving through the list, there's some family stuff in here, but trying some different games. I love that there's some really unique stuff on here too, like White Knight. But I have to say that this whole presentation, the speakers are so powerful and I can't wait for the jukebox that they're going to put on here so I can play music just in the room while it's sitting and hanging out. So really, really well done. And one of the things I wondered before I bought mine was just exactly what some of these different screens looked like that no one seemed to be showing, like uh, the information screen, and login and storage. You know, those were things that I was very curious about that I hadn't seen a lot of in videos. So, but you know, they give you a keyboard when you need to enter things and it works really well. Um, and it really was easy to configure and really easy to set up with your specific type of Wi-Fi environment. I was really impressed. Games download like that in the store, even if you just use it on a basic browser, works really well. But of course, what drew me to this machine was Dragon's Lair. Now, obviously, this is the digital version, not the laser disc version. And with that, you get tons of extras like how to draw Dirk or the attract video to watch the game and a really well done tutorial. Also, interviews with the creators. Really cool stuff. Also, you get options like difficulty level, easy and hard, and arcade versus home. I like the home version because it forces me to go through the different levels and finish them, relearning them as I move through the game. Really fun stuff here. I like all the different options that are available to you through this digital version. So, Dragon's Lair is an interactive film laser disc of video game that was developed by Advanced Microcomputer Systems and published by Cinematronics in 1983. Yeah. 
a really long time ago as the first game in the Dragon's Lair series. And of course there was Dragon's Lairs 2 and there was also Space Ace, which are fantastic games. Well, at least Space Ace was. I was never a huge fan of Dragon's Lair 2. But in the game, the protagonist Dirk the Daring is a knight attempting to rescue Princess Daphne from the evil dragon who has locked her in the foul wizard's castle. And it also featured animation by Don Bluth. So they really put together an interesting, unique game, especially back in 1983. So I enter the arcade, never seen anything like this. It's such a huge nostalgia thing for me to have this machine now because I literally spent $50 of my lawn mowing money to learn and beat this machine. Really took some time to do, but then once I got it, I got it. And I could go in with 50 cents and beat it every time. Of course, it would draw a huge crowd and they had the monitor on top of the cabinet so everyone in the arcade could see. And I do have to again say that this cabinet just gives me the same feel down to the touchy controls and just nailing that timing where I have not really had that in the switch or on the computer like I have here. It feels like being on those old arcade machines, which is something I love about this game. Now, obviously you can get those other versions of you know, this type of game on IRK, you know, Dragon's Lair 2 and Space Ace and so forth. But this is my favorite, Dragon's Lair 100%. And like I said before, I would have bought this machine even if it only had Dragon's Lair on it. Just, it's so cool. Uh, I just can't get over, I totally feel like I am absolutely 12 again. So I can't help but fanboy over this machine. The nostalgia level is high and you know, like I said, Dragon's Lair is a memorization game, timing, but I give it a huge, huge thumbs up because it makes me feel like I'm a kid again in the arcade. And speaking of that, everything with iArcade makes me feel that way. I feel like I can have this one machine. I don't need any others ever. And you know, some of the competitors out there, they have some interesting things and obviously some older retro games that are more of the mainstay, at least for now. And I've never even been drawn to them because I've looked at their build quality, terrible, terrible in comparison. And again, this again feels like a high-end piece of furniture, a centerpiece to my theater room down here and going to be part of the studio moving forward. So I highly recommend you check them out and come back to Board Game Corner because I'm going to be looking at a bunch of the different games, doing individual reviews, and also maybe some streaming here soon. So keep an eye out and thanks for tuning in. And until next time, folks, we'll see you at the table.